I think my Nutcracker is about the birth of dance in this country, of classical ballet, of a take being taken seriously. I think it's, um, it tells us things about who we are as Australians. It tells us things about how we have embraced cultures from around the world, how we've incorporated them, as I have, into becoming a storyteller. And my stories are richer because of this world of multiculturalism. Well, I think musically it said to me, the same as Swan Lake says to me, there is more to this than the, st than the original scenario that Paul Tchaikovsky had to write demanded. And you could tell, you can tell in the music that his heart goes into it. He managed both in Nutcracker and Swan Lake to, to find something absolutely elevatingly gorgeous. And yet the story to me has all, in Nutcracker has always been its stumbling point. There is so little story. And that was one of my biggest problems when Maina asked me to do this production. I couldn't quite get, come to terms with that story and, and committing myself to doing a full, my first full length ballet to something that I couldn't quite believe in. And when I, with the help of the genius Christian Fredrickson, hit upon something that we thought would fit, a beautiful thing happened. We went on this journey, then suddenly we were going, well, there's a gunshot here, you know, in the score, there's an actual gunshot. And there's um, all of this sort of semi-exotic music which takes you to different countries. All the basis of the things were there. I just had to find a reason to, to bring them all together. And that journey became one which, which ultimately told an Australian story. And then of course Christian went berserk. Christian had the possibility of researching uh, the Marinsky costumes for Nutcracker, you know, and people, people have since said, oh, you know, those snowflakes headdresses are a bit excessive, you know, and you go, well, they're actually original, you know, they're actually what, they came out of Russia, you know. And the bejeweled, besequent, fabulous, bejeweled, imperial look of his production. And let's be honest, Christian was poetic. And so between the two of us, we could come up with he would come up with poetic images that I could then translate into dance and it was a beautiful relationship and one that I sorely miss now that he's no longer with us. But I must say that I love the design because it's not overwrought and yet it feels opulent. It feels incredibly opulent and you know a simple image of a, a birch tree you know will suggest a picnic and um, a large flower would suggest the walls of the flowers, but it's you know painted and painterly and creatively really exciting. He had poetry and symbolism on his side, and he wasn't just someone who just gave you the external trappings and you just do what you want inside. Don't think what you think ballet is. Don't think what you think theatre is. Don't think that you're in the theatre. Just think that you're sitting observing a slice of life. You're sitting in a dark place, but you're looking at a bright, shiny world. That ability to engage someone that they actually go on a tangent is, is as precious as, as them, you know, getting your message. It's actually more important. You know, music that, that takes you out of yourself and into another world is so divine, but that's art. You know, anything that lets you escape from the reality of life is good.